Hey, me, Grandpa. Like what you see? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe then. Please touch my furs. Parting shot, mirage shot, lightning phalanx. Because that means we need Athena, which is guaranteed. Then we have to have Aphrodite. Then we have to have Zeus. Then we have to have Artemis. Okay. It's a very precise god pool. All set. I shall do it. Yoink. Your wisdom guide me. This is a cast that I don't think I use very often for any build, potentially. All right. Sometimes I'm forced to take it at moments, but I never enjoy using it. I think the slow buildup makes it kind of hard, so... Um, Hera does kind of help. Backstab damage could make this actually really interesting. If we get, like, parting shot and stuff. We haven't really abused this in a while, but there is, like, a slight unintended nature to lightning... To, uh, phalanx shot with Hera, where even if you hit the, an enemy that's facing you with it, it seems you. to count as a backstab. Unless they fixed it without my knowing. We do need more Athena. We need Exposed. Hmm. In the name of Hades. Well, even any amount is fine. Most do as possible. Yeah, we've done it a few times. One day I'll do an Afro call run. It sounds like pure torture to me. <laughs> no, don't hit exposed. It's content, damn. Ugh. Here I am. Wait, I'm not allowed to do anything else besides use that Afro's call. I'll take it. Only in boss fights. So the god pool's already kind of ruined a little bit here. Hey! This time. Buh. Goober, thank you so much for the five gift sums. Merry Christmas, congrats 53. Thank you so much. Guess we go for Snowburst in the meantime. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It was easy, right, chat? Why'd I summon Meg for this? I shall bring desolation Ravenous will. Oh, that's cold. We're looking for Zeus. We're looking for Artemis. No, wait. Well, Mirage shot... Wait a minute. It's almost impossible to get Mirage shot now because I need Artemis and Poseidon. Mm -hmm. I love you, Twitch chat. Oh, come back again, please. We already had two gods. We really want parting shot. And maybe we'll skip Mirage in this instance. We really want a parting shot. And, um... Twitch chat. Oh, come back again, what's the other please. doodad <laughs> there, chatties? Parting shot, just to be different, because we never use that. And phalanx shot. Goober, thank you for the two more gift subs. More damage from behind. The ultimate backstab build. You gotta admit, I haven't really done that. If only I was using Thanatos' keepsake. Companion, I should say. Because that has some, like, crazy bullshit going on with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's up, Pinecone? How you been? Tunic's got you hella spooked. Love Tunic. It didn't backstab. Mm. 
No Aries. I love the Twitch chat. That's bad. Oh, come back again, please. Go for thank you for another gift sub. Ow. Tunic is my game of the year. Even counting Elden Ring and uh, God of War, I gotta say. It was the best surprise I had the entire year. Uh, I just really care about what gods we get, so if I can get one sooner. Thank you so much, Goober. More Athena? It's not much I can get. You can get the hammer out of the pool for Asphodel at least. Do I actually want to fill a slot here? We want to get Afro for Parting Shot. We want to get Zeus for Lightning Flanks. Rather not roll. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, definitely buy Tunic if you have the time. It might be on Game Pass. Fury sisters. You ready? I think it was like on Game Pass at some point. Not yet. Chad, what's your mm, your favorite underrated game? Would you say, if you have one right. that you feel like did not get enough attention? It might not mean that it got zero attention, but maybe just not enough in your eyes. <sighs> for 2022 or ever. I'll say ever. Bioshock? I always kind of felt like Bioshock got the uh, Thank you. attention it deserved. Outer Wilds? I'll admit I didn't hear of Outer Wilds so much later on. That could be possible. Next stop. Um, Let's see here. I guess we'll go for Lightning first. I should help. Neo, the world ends. The world ends with you, that game? Up we go then. Hmm. A Magic the Gathering game? <laughs> Added in 96. Changes Man, Outer Wilds got fucked over because the Outer World released close to it. I always got those two confused and I didn't even realize that they released on similar at similar times, but that sucks. That sucks. Holy shit. Yeah, I remember I had The World Ends With You for the DS, or was it Game Boy Advance? I forget which. I have it, but I couldn't get into it. I tried. But I remember the mechanics like were really clever. No, it must have been DS because there was a touch screen involved, I think. I remember like it felt too big brain for me at the time of. I shall be watching it. Ukulele. I really don't want the attack. I better double check because I don't remember. If I take the dash, is that enough for what we need? It do be. Trying to hold out for afros. I don't have any palms yet. Spearfarer? That one's been on the list that I might want to try someday for me. Thanatos. I, sensed your I love the art style. Uh, just from looking at it. I never tried ukulele. That's supposed to be like a kind of a spiritual successor to Banjo, right? Or am I thinking of something else? Cat in Time, maybe. Oh, nuts. Jesus. What a room. And that's the end of that. More like get a room. You got a lot of them. Uh -huh. Between us. Spear fair good, a little sad. I'm trying to think if I have one. From before the stream days, maybe. I think a game that I really liked that it seemed like it didn't get that much attention was Owl Boy. Owl Boy. Pixel Art Metrovania. It was, I mean, it wasn't a perfect game, but I always kind of felt like it got kind of shit on for some, for weird reasons. 
maybe not shit on, but didn't get a lot of attention. It was an indie game at the end of the day. This is perfect. Shut up in my senses. Definitely more of that. Evil Land 2. Wait, Evil Land, wasn't that the Super Nintendo game that, uh, where you kept changing animals? It was sort of the, um, oh no, what was that big game called? That huge overhyped game by Maxis, maybe. Where the gameplay kept changing. It's just Evo? No, not Evo. Oh, 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 I'm thinking of Evo for the Super Nintendo. Spore, Spore was the other game I was thinking of. Spore was like, all right. Such a sweetheart. Ooh, perfect. Spore was I. Right. It was all right, but it was overhyped. People thought it was like the second coming of Jesus there. Mind if I join the fray, which is... It didn't have that much replayability at the end of the day. And lightning phalanx. Woo, baby. Our cast now bounces between three foes. It was ahead of its time. So I heard a lot of people touting its like creature uh, creator or whatever. But when I played it, it didn't ever felt that good to me. It's like, it's okay. Just in time. At the same time, I did have fun with it, but it felt like I never spent lo a long enough time in any of the one game modes, basically. We're broke. What does Phalanx mean? I don't know, actually. Crosscode, Eternal Cylinder. No, I've looked at Crosscode a bit. A lot of people have talked about it. Some people said, what's that other game that I've played that I did actually play? YouTube only. Some people said it's very similar. I always forget. It was good though, I liked it. That's a lot of coin. Unsighted, yes, unsighted. Yeah. Lerny, you really didn't have to reconstitute yourself just for my sake. All right, we're looking for parting shot now. Bum, 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 bum. All right, what's your overrated game of the year? I bet most people are just going to say, like, Elden Ring. <laughs> I don't know. Like, for me personally, I don't feel like Elden Ring is really overrated. You get so much for the price you pay, really. It's kind of hard to argue with the quality that is there. Could it be better? Of course. But it's kind of like, I mean, how much do you need? Vampire Survivors overhyped. I can kind of see the argument. I can kind of see it. Stray, I can see that argument too. I really like Stray, but I can see it. It got talked up a lot. Cult of the Lamb, you crossed a little bit for that too, I, I agree. Vampire Survivors can go away. It was a nice little game, but I think it, it, it wears out its welcome really quickly. Do I still need these? Should help keep me going. All right, parting shot. Cult of Lamb was very overhyped. Basically, any game that gets... I mean, let's face the facts. Any game that gets a lot of hype is probably destined to fail to some degree. Ragnarok didn't seem that good just from watching people play it. It was... If you take out the story element, it is basically just the same game with... Uh, one extra weapon and, like, a couple other small features. I'll admit. Vampire Survivors was fun for two days, and then you never want to play again. Right. Because once you figure out the formula, where's the fun? Where's the mystery, right? But that's the same for most games, especially for a game with zero story, right? For 
And parting shot. How about a different set of choices? Boom, baby. Your cast gains any bonuses you have for striking foes from behind. And we have double bonuses. The one. From chaos there. Better to play. I think God of War is very much so a game that is better to play than to watch. I mean, being story driven is always going to be some portion of that. But even then, if the combat is actually very complex, and well, it's. I mean, you can always play it whatever, like a certain way, right? But it feels. The combat feels very complex as you play it, I think. Ooh, that's a good amount of damage. Olympus, I accept this message. I think I can get the legendary because I have quick reload. Hate to be ungrateful here. Mm, didn't get it. Hey, Addy. What other boons do we want? What else do we want? We have the two major ones. We can't get Mirage Shot now. It's impossible. <sighs> Some games just suck to stream, like JRPGs. Yeah. Unless you're like the most talkative person on the planet. There's just some things. I don't really like having to uh, be quiet and listen to uh, large sections of voice acting. It doesn't make me hate the game, but it just makes it harder for me to stream. I'll just take the Hydrolyte. Thanks a lot. But yeah, at the end of the day, it just kind of comes down to whoever's... It's, it's more so the streamer than the game still, I think. In the name of Hades. No snowburst, huh? Oh, we can roll it. Any other boons for me? Got a little bit. Never want to watch someone play Xenoblade Chronicles 3, but I spent over 300 hours on it. Right. I think there's just a, like some games like that. Like, I really liked... Dragon Quest 11? I think the most recent one. Took me like 200 hours to get through it. But like, I don't want to watch someone else play it. There might be some like decent like YouTube content out there for like specific challenges or something maybe that could catch my eye, but just watching do like watching someone do like a, a slow playthrough. I don't know if it's my cup of tea. Not a whole lot from Afro that could give us sweet surrender. Yeah, whatever. The Dragon Quest series is the only JRPG games I'll play anymore, really. But I probably would never play them on stream. Okay, hold on. I need to clear. I don't know why I get into so many arguments. I had someone tell me that Pokemon is not a JRPG. Hi, Aphrodite. Can we put can we put this to rest for me? Doesn't really matter. Still, I have Snowburst now. I understand that it might feel a bit different from the stereotypical JRPG, but at the at the end of the day, it's a Japanese RPG, right? <laughs> at the end of the day. I think palms are the only thing. It might be more of just like a children's RPG in a sense. I don't know. Well, there's the whole, like, creature collector thing. Maybe you can make that argument. But it doesn't change the fact... It can be two things, though, right? It can be two things. Chat. 
there's other like creature collector type games that are also JRPGs. Like Shin Megami Tensei has like a collecting feature, does it not? Or I'm, I might be thinking of a, a spin off game, I don't remember. Hmm. Chamber 34. Oh, come on. Feeling good. All right, Chaos, bring me in. Bring me in. Master Chaos. God, I haven't played a Shin Megami Tensei game. Ooh. Oh my God, we got more backstab? No way. 70% plus 67%. Plus exposed for 70%, plus 105%. I told you, Andy, get the clickbait ready. This is actually unique to most things I've done on YouTube uh, at this point. I'll pay for that. Oh, wow. Look who. Meg, help. Back off. 2150. I didn't see that number. So, monster, you think you have the wherewithal to achieve victory? You dispatch the ball. No, I missed. Go get him. The feet has bangs. I don't know if they fixed the front backstab thing on this or not, ever. Probably not, but. It's kind of hard to tell in the, in the heat of battle. I shall get you for this. That's a backstab. 30-78. Damn. Damn. That'll teach him. I think it did say backstab and everything. So yeah, it looks like it is still working. So I don't think it works if you actually hit him from the back. Don't make me come up there. Boy. Hit it from the back. Hit it from the back. Not making you do anything. Sell different league. Don't really need the money. One more stop. How was the 54 heat? Less than stellar. Hmm. Which one first? Okay. Here goes. Ow. Bum 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 The boon I got from chaos. What if there are no dual boons in Hades too? Not yet. Hey, Dank. They're just like, nah. Can you backstab this bastard? Apparently not. So that's a big difference in damage, because it only deals 10 to 80. My favorite snowboarding game. Delicious. I would like none of these. Hmm. It's no use. So I deal like triple the bone triple the damage. Got to find something for Cerberus. I can use this. Alright, I need this to hit exactly this one boon, okay? You ready? Fuck! Well, now we gotta make sure that hits heroic before we leave. I guess that's like second best, kind of. Kind of? Can't do that. Oh, yeah. You got it. You got to show the people what they're ca what things are capable of. So even like bad duo boons are worth having there. 
Because if they're all good, then that's kind of boring. You know what I mean? It's kind of boring if, like, every duo boon is really good, right? You need some bad ones in there. And then that way I can make a YouTube video trying to show you that maybe it's not that bad. But then it turns out it's actually that bad. <laughs> it is indeed that bad, it turns out. But if everything is balanced the same, that shit's boring. Right? Isn't it? Then your decisions don't matter anymore. That knowledge doesn't matter. You just take what gets offered and you always win. Ow. 99.4% of players don't take this game. That sounds like a good clickbait title. Andy? Is Andy writing these things down for us? Just the edge Larry shot, beautiful. Heading back. That's Vampire Survivors, yeah. Once everything's unlocked, unfortunately, it's still in like I mean per five dollars at full price now. You can't argue that it's not like a jolly good fun for the price that you get out of it. But yeah, it, there is something like almost. I guess frustrating because uh, you like the game, right? And you want to keep playing, but there's only so much that you can squeeze out of it. Tasting. Okay. It's free on iOS. You've been playing on the iPad. Ooh, I didn't know it was free. Sweet. The game gives you the illusion that if you just make better choices, you'll do better in Vampire Survivors. But it turns out those better choices are really only just make sure that you get the evolutions. That's it. Down the chute. That's really the only thing. All right, legendary. Hmm. The haste of Hermes. All games eventually get boring. Correct. Right. All right, let's see how much damage can we do to Hades in one hit here with the cast and all. Do I have Athena on anything else? Because I might want to apply Exposed beforehand. Do I have Athena on the special? Cooper, thank you so much for the gift sub. I do. So apply that. And I totally missed with one of them. Only one. Oh, I have four casts even too now. Hear me, wretched sir. Rise now from my grave and fight again. You know when the last time I had a uh, forecast chat? That's when I was watching the Weather Channel. Nah. Oh, it did. Oh, forty-two fifty-five. There it is. Boo! We are not Damn it! it moves too fast. Who's my zaddy? Oh! 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 Ow. You. Yay! Six thousand something. Gave you quite the edge against me then. Sixty-six nineteen. That's pretty high. No mirage shots. Would be really hard yes. to get mirage shot with this. Africa rules. I'm afraid this is probably the end of the stream because I I need to end bef by five o'clock. Post it in the Discord for tomorrow though, and we can consider. Ah.
Alrighty, let's highlight what mattered for those curious. You can ditch that. Lightning Phalanx, I guess, kind of. But if you just go for the big number, you don't need Lightning Phalanx, right? Because all it does is add bounce, doesn't add damage. Not direct damage. Exposed was kind of a big deal for that purpose then. And we had one, two, Three Chaos Backstab Boons. I don't think I've ever had Backstab damage this high. Oi, let me tell you. Oi. Highest damage I've reached? There's a YouTube video of me dealing, like, in the tens of thousands with the Thanatos summon. I don't remember the number, though. This isn't even, like, one hit. This is all the cast stacking all at once. All right, now that's the run. That is the run. Oop. Mine. Trav, what's up? Thank you so much for the 19 months.